All right, <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? We, uh, you guys um, are crazy out there. You guys, uh, dude, we're barely, what, what are we, two minutes late and we're getting pinged already? I know, that right? Works. Everybody's but hitting that's great, up. because uh, that means that you care and that you're here for us. And so you're watching, right. right. Yep. So um, let me pull up the live stream so that I can keep a track on. Okay. Oh, man, he's got the music playing and everything. What is going on over there? <laughs> i got to put the mute on. I don't know what music that well, was. Well, that, that's from the intro. You're lagging, dude. That's some what kind of music do you play on the intro? Is that, was that pan flute? I, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's going on like in the intro? I'm, thing, I'm not here know. to judge. I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Pan flute. All right, so lots of comments I already picked Well, out. we are Scotch for Dummies. Yes. Thank you for joining us mm. this Thursday night. Oh, I gotta pull up the live the, the comments here. You can see tonight we are they we posted on Monday a review of the uh, Glenn Morangi. Yes, we did. Kinto Ruben. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this scotch. Is that oh, our agenda? No, no, oh, no, I got a little no. agenda to Mark's try to got keep agenda. us on, on track Sorry. here. So anyway, you're like the chief of staff. Uh, yeah, right. I gotta keep <laughs> things moving <laughs> at a pace here. Um, I was out last week, so these guys kept the, the show going. That's why it was so good last week. Yeah, yeah, right. The show was awesome, right? You guys missed me, sure. Um, doesn't mean I wasn't drinking scotch, I'll be honest. But um, lots of things going on. We're busier now, get out. I don't think things are slowing down, so mm -hmm. I'm glad we have a couple minutes. I mean, we this is the first time the four of us have been together in like two weeks. It was like, hey, guys, want to have a glass of scotch? Cheers. <laughs> right? Cheers so, to exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> Hello. Cheers to you two for, for joining us. Thank you. <sighs> so anyway, oh, wait, we need to do what for what you're drinking. Oh, we, yeah, we, we can get that. Mm -hmm. We'll that get to that. We'll get to that. Second. Yeah, we'll get to that. What you're drinking? Um, I can't lie to him. This is interesting. What's in this glass is interesting to me. It's definitely different, and and I can't wait to review it. And we'll talk about what's in this glass. It's not this, even though we're gonna have a glass of this with you all. We're curious to see what uh, what you guys say. I read through a lot of the comments, and we'll get to those. But um. Definitely want to take a picture, uh, and I want something different. Our last couple pictures of what you're drinking, kind of the same it's thing, always right? the same. You know, we're in the same position. So we got to do something creative because we ask you guys to do something creative. Um, so on that note, oh, before oh, I forget, though, um, going back two weeks ago, we said we were going to pick the best picture, and we did. I just don't think we communicated it to, uh, to the individual. So <laughs> it was um, Christopher James Warren, right? Yep. Um, he took a picture of his whiskey uh, in front of... Uh, the monitor with us on the background. We thought that was good enough. So, Christopher, we need your address to get you a bottle hanger. Um, last week, I wasn't here. You guys did the same thing, and you guys chose Chad, uh, chose Chad, Chad Adams um, as the <coughs> picture winner for his Highland Park 18, which I'm very fond of. But I wanted to throw a shout-out to uh, Lee's picture because it just looks really good. That <laughs> from 95. I mean, you look at that glass, it looks like, like dark brewed tea or something. I'm like, man, I want that. But uh, I don't even know if she's on yet. But um, gosh, there's a lot of comments, and I don't want to miss all these. So I'm going to scroll through these. We're going to do a picture of what you're drinking tonight. So hopefully you guys have something interesting in your glass. Um, I you just did, but now I'm out. You just did, but now you're out. So we That's going to be a fun one to review. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so while we're doing that, guys, so the, we, we didn't pull oh, the... Oh, this uh, way? Okay. Oh, ooh, we're doing our picture of what you're drinking. Hey, I'm, whoa, bringing, way too I'm bringing water right now. Dark. I it's way too wide on me. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Selfie arm, Look at Andrew. You. I'm a ghost. I can't, I, I can't see that far without my glasses. That's all right. Let's take one. Cheerio. Just, Cheers. It's all right. Uh, Andrew's a little it, washed out. Work, Andrew. <laughs> and, Andrew's got a really bad selfie arm. There you go. That's good enough. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Horrible. Not bad. Uh, work. Anyway, you guys do the same. Post it up on the Facebook. See what we're doing. I wanted to talk about a, a quick heart second with what's in this glass. It's not this um, this Quintal Rubin. We um. We've been given, uh, someone bought us a, a bottle of Japanese whiskey. And we're going to get to review that here in the near future. But we decided to crack it open just to see what's going on. Because really, we've stayed true to our Scotch um, intentions, right? We, we've not really veered off that. Yeah, well, there's a few uh, Irish whiskeys we enjoy. But um, I'm not going to tell you which one this is, other than the fact that you darn well know it's a Japanese whiskey. You stick your nose in it. You, you, yeah. you, you smell that Japanese oak, and you're like, whoa, that's different. Tastes different. It's it's rather enjoyable. Uh, I'm looking forward to that review. So let's get on to the. Um, well, you know what? Let's take a heart second. Let's let's let these guys say hi to us. Now there's tons of comments, like tons. So I'm gonna shut up and watch comments. His girlfriend. All right. All right. Hey, nice. Whoa. Welcome, girlfriend. Wow. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Well, did he say something? He made some disparaging Dram comments. Dram dude says he's first. All right, Dram dude, you're cool. Choose to you, hey. brother. <laughs> when he was like 15 minutes, I was started. I was second. <laughs> 
Dram Dude was 15 minutes away. <laughs> he was before we he, got he here. He deserves a drink, yeah, no kidding. Through that before we walked in the room. <laughs> I think Telex has probably had a couple already. He's Good for him. He's typing in all caps. <laughs> Swami, Swami's pissed Why is he us. yelling we'll, at we'll us? We'll talk about Swami in well, a little that, bit. Well, that's... That's you want to do it right out. now? I mean, it is what what it is. Out. Why is Telex yelling at us? I have no idea why Telex is yelling because he's had a couple glasses of good Iowa whiskey. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, he's always good yelling at us lately. Uh, good evening, Robert. How are you doing? Um, good to see you, Robert. Yeah. Excellent to see Love you. Love the glasses. Hey, so Benjamin5566 noticed the drawing. So that's a cool drawing. It is. The original's right there. there. For a quick second. So, Sean, you got to give the story. So on our, on our 100th review, my, my daughter uh, drew that picture for us. Put it up closer. So, uh, pick, you guys know who's who? <laughs> <laughs> Drew's the evil looking Drew's one. Drew's the evil Drew's the evil looking one. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do you have like, that? It's it's the eyebrows. I don't know. Yeah. Apparently they're very expressive. Uh, but anyway, she drew that for us, so we've got a frame. But I haven't found a good spot to hang it yet, so it's just kind of hanging out on the bar. But uh, I'm glad that Drew got it up there on on the page, though. Yeah, it's, that, it's, it's, it's I pretty did cool. digitize it. Work on a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. So um, Robert's back and drinking at a Glen Grant 16. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with when that. You're coming over here, Robert. <laughs> I Bring love it. that bottle. I love that bottle. I, I wish we still had some um, up on the floor. Hey, hey, so there's a little bit in our uh, here's that image living bottle. Up there. Oh, there's. Yeah, yeah there's. Just threw the image back up. It was a uh, digitized original artwork of the demo. Yeah, I like there. the color and do stuff. I need to talk to your daughter see if she'll hunt me tonight because I'm, I'm not that good. She's uh, she's working on some upgrades. She's, so. she's the art artist. So she she enjoys that stuff. Yeah. Scott's evening is going well, Lee. We are gonna put you on the spot a little later in the show, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> um, but, sort of the uh, rapid fire question and answer period yeah. at the end. <laughs> <laughs> go. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's points I'm catching involved. up on these comments, guys. Um, He's a slow reader. Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> Telex has got Highland Park 18. What? You mean Highland Park 18? I didn't see Highland Park Dude, like, at a bar. All I saw were Lafroix and Lagavulin. I was going to say, that's not an island. You're like 10 minutes behind the comments. Dude, come on. Scroll Dude. up. <laughs> He's busy talking. Yeah, you do. I'm out. I'm tapping, guys. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, John. <laughs> just randomly rolling through. I so. Know it. Are we already off the wheels? Are the wheels so already off? Have we talked about this yet? No, we no we're going to get to that. This. I wanted to catch I'm, up on I'm the comments, near, uh, so I guess I'm caught up I'm, enough. I'm having a little bit of that. And I'll tell you what, it's uh, it's an enjoyable glass. It's it's not overly complex, but it's got enough going on Listen to keep up, your Frank. interest. The Quinta? Yeah, the Quinta? This guy? Yeah, uh, Frank uh, let's, Just well, Frank said his, um, his, his whiskey club is going to uh, review this. Uh, this next week with the uh, La Santa and the Bacalta, so it'll be interesting nice. to see. But yeah. uh, pull up our up. comments. Yeah, pull up our comments. Speak oh, up on 15 this. Fifteen minutes. Huh? Um, I haven't got to this. We, in my we've got that right now, eighteen and the signet sitting back there still to review. So <laughs> yes, that's I'm coming. More to that. We got some good scotch to review. Actually, I'm, I'm really excited. What's behind this? We we'll get secrets. there. <laughs> I know. I know. We got to hurry up. These guys are killing me. Uh, got, he's got an agenda. It's like he's project well, managing. Project managing, and he's got like so four minutes, fifteen minutes behind. Oh, sorry. Uh, get us back right. on track. Let's go. Let's I'm go. I'm gonna get us back on track. We're talking about this guy right here. I don't right. even have it in my glass. Um, I know what I when I oh, rated it. I remember it. Um, I remember reviewing it, and my personal take on this one was. So much better than just their ten. <laughs> oh yeah, it really is. I mean, it really is. I I shouldn't down. judge a distillery on its you know its entry level bottle, and no. so but it's hard not to when it's the only one you'd had, you know. So right. unfortunately, I, I really didn't give Glenmorangie uh, a good shake because I really didn't care for the ten until we went to the whiskey well, expo last year and I tasted that signet and I was like, whoa. whoa. I, but I will say, I mean, you say you can't judge it by an entry level, but. I mean, you're talking about it's all the same juice when it comes out. Well, that's eighty percent well, of Well, not, cell, not the signet, but you know, uh, most of the others. You know, I mean, the juice is the juice, and you know, whatever they're doing with the, with the barrel aging process is what right. imparts that that final flavor profile. Right. Um, mm-hmm. But you know, some of them you get that nice fruity. You mm-hmm. know, it, you can tell that the juice is just going to be enjoyable, and if it sits in the barrel longer, it's just going to be even better. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, whereas this one, you know, the ten. Well, it's it's really it's 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 some people but, really love the ten, though. But I'll tell you what, your palate. I mean, it's just pop. Every it's all get out, dude. This had this had mm-hmm. some nice notes to it. Is it overly complicated? No, 
But you're not you're not paying that much, you know. Well, <laughs> yeah. So you know, I mean, it's a it's a good entry level sub. You know, what was it? Fifty five. Fifty. I thought it was fifty. Like, yeah. So I mean, for for a fifty dollar bottle of scotch, you you get a lot of flavor out of this. I, yeah. Good bang for your right. buck. I thought it was year, well worth it for fifty. Ten bucks. years in bourbon, two years in the uh, Kinteruban port ca- mm-hmm. port tubes. So they got a lot of surface area. They pull a lot of color, a lot of that flavor out of the tube in two years. I really enjoyed this one, guys. I mean, I think I was the highest ranking in this one of the three, I think. It's um, a, it's a good the price, sip For the price, man, this is a really good go-to for that semi-sweet, you know, ruby red. Scotch. I love the color. Like Just an everyday it glass of scotch. To it. This is I liked it a lot. I'm not going to yeah. feel guilty about drinking it. It's really good with creme brulee, too. And it's not. I'm not going to feel signet, guilty. Though. No, it's no. not signet, but it's good. <laughs> I'm not going to feel guilty about letting somebody else try this too. Right. Because this is not your entry level. It's a little different. It, you know, it's it's. You it, can compare and contrast this scotch to other scotches, and you're not like, oh my gosh, I, I don't. They don't understand. I'm not going to pour that dollar bill in that. I don't want to drop a twenty in a glass for them. Yeah. yeah. No. No. So Joe Bach, 1987, said the same thing. Buy Quinton Special and have it as an everyday drink, you know, for all your friends. And yeah, it's, yeah. it's not bad to drink, but it's also great to share. It's, it's, it is, right. for the value, for what you're getting out of this, <laughs> you're not going to be upset. It, no, not at all. I, I think it's a good everyday glass. Yeah. Hey, George. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people are still talking about the Signet in the comments, and we're going to get to Signet. And, yes, it may be overpriced. We're, we're going to do are. all kinds of stuff with um, Signet. Uh, but this isn't that, and this isn't competing with that. I think price point, this is a great bottle. Um, and I, I'll have one on my bar so for 50 To bucks, me, the Signet you know? is a specialty bottle. Sure. You can't compare it to the others in the line. You know, I mean, it's kind of like the Octomore in that sense, that it's its, its own separate thing. Well, They're like doing something completely different with it, and it's a specialty scotch. It's, it's, Glenn, it's Glenn Morangy's uh, King Alexander. Yeah. It's, it's They bring all these different casts together. They're... It's a right. specialty blend. It's not their normal, their normal new make. It's a, it's very special. So, Signet should be compared to like King Alexander or something to that in Octomore, which is a. I mean, a it's a specialty. Yeah. It's a specialty one-off line. You know, yep. it, it's it, you can't compare it to the rest. Yep. Swami's tilting guys. I mean, what? he, he said my ex was a good bang for the buck too. I mean, I so that's, that's, wow. that's a good comment. But I know I saw he, that. He's I just was gonna let it go. Oh, well, that's tonight, a old man. How many? How many yeah. had tonight, Malta? Travis, some guy. Some Travis. Oh, George wow. Kaplan's on, guys. Buenos noches, George. Good to see you, good see you man. Um, yeah. Alan Ward, good to see you, sir. Yeah, Signet is nice. Yeah, we have it back. Travis, Travis is making Travis me mad. Travis is back so, uh, too. What we got on there? And we're not drinking. It's hard to read it since we don't have the iPad pulled up here where they're nice and big and you know. Oh, you're killing I me, Smalls. Do everything I thing. know. Just... <laughs> so, George, what are you drinking? I mean, you need to do your. He's just getting started. He yeah. So a... let's um somebody pull up Facebook and see what kind of pictures we're. Did talk you post about that those. already? I did. I don't know. I I did. Let me. I'm post. doing any oh, you're of that. Doing it. You're f- he's faster on the keyboard than I'm on a we're phone. Busy up here looking pretty. I know. Right? Real pretty. I, if I could set this thing <laughs> in this set this phone in here, maybe you could read it too. But. And they got binoculars. Yeah, right. <laughs> we got <laughs> get, get the Mark Greener with the log of one eight. Ooh, I like that. I'm like wrong with I that. That log of one that didn't last long around here, did it? No. No, yeah. no we killed that thing. I can't believe you only came home with one bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Man, shit. good stuff. Yeah, they put an ankle in it. I mean, they did put an ankle in it. That's good shit. <laughs> hey, whoa, Telex. Now you're you're jumping the gun on my agenda. I guess we, I guess the cat's out of the bag. So what cat? Um, what bag? What Look bag? That. You guys oh, notice shirt? anything on the shirts? Um, Custom. Our made. shirts aren't in yet. They're still in shipping. Uh, in apparently, route. a marzipan uh, takes a little bit longer. They make it with love. Right. Right. And, and, and I think sure. they haven't have, haven't even printed mine because it says Scotch Whore on it. They're passing <laughs> it around to everybody before they ship it. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this shirt? Who the hell is gonna wear this? I so right. Drew's gonna bring up the proud. graphic of our shirts online. <laughs> Did you get a trucker hat? Look at this. Hold on a second. Oh, he's doing it. Oh shoot. So, yeah, we had some t-shirts made up with a lot of the phrases that we use, some of the, the lingo that we get tossed And around. by so, made up, we, we mean we let Drew do that so stuff. I'm Drew, showing them Drew is a graphic designer. I'm yeah. showing them right now. Our website's actually updated as of right now, so you can go and you can see right here it says merchandise and shirts. 
So you can go right now and order our shirts. We've got about six designs. We've got about five more coming up. But uh, wow, check it out. Five yeah. more? I didn't even know about that. Yeah, right. I, we got cake I, batter. I mean, this is the cake batter man here. Yeah, yeah, cake batter. This is definitely not we something the that we're this, looking this to make major so, profits so or anything on. If you're watching really now, don't get anything out of this, but they can't see us, but they can we, see right. they, So this is the Scotch. We spend shirt money here. on our own shirts. Right? Yeah. So this is your this is your shirt, Mark. Scotch yeah, that's me, baby. Can't wait to see what my wife has to say about it. There's the burnt toast. toast. She knows. He's wearing tonight. So that's what, what we're doing. This is the one from uh, the old uh, Gordon and, uh, what was it, Mortlock. Mortlock. Oh, I love that Mortlock. That was a fun oh, one. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, and then, of course, the wheelhouse. The wheelhouse shirt. Should have bought two bottles of that. This is going to be the best seller, I think. Hey, Big Fish, by the way. Welcome to the show. And, of course, Telex will own this shirt. The I old smell I smell marzipan. And, and the, beauty, yeah, right. the yeah. beauty of these shirts is you, you essentially – can pick any style, color, um, you phrase, can change color, whatever. phrase, and right. then and size, you know, women's shirts, men's shirts, sweatshirts, hoodie, hoodies, long sleeve, short sleeve, all that kind of stuff. Trucker and they'll put, they'll put whatever layer, yeah, you could get a trucker hat. So John wants us to say hi to Maria, his girlfriend that got him started into scotch last fall, and now he's hooked. <laughs> Hello, Maria. Hello, Maria. God bless you. <laughs> if, if you meet a woman that gets you into scotch, Maria. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So I, I feel like there's a story behind that that I we know. should probably hear, yeah, right? right? I mean, you opened I, the box I, on that, John. I can tell you my wife wasn't buying me scotch. Right. Um, oh, George is drinking some Compass Box Hedonism. Dang. Beat that. Damn it. Oh, we I looked, I looked at that. that on the. That's a grain, too, isn't it? I, I that. thought that was a grain whiskey. Yeah, it might be. So we looked at that when we were at a buying table. We looked at that bottle. I'm like, how do you pay whatever the price was for a grain whiskey? Because it didn't cheap. So Dennis took it us over to his bar and had us taste some. Saying, "I can see why you paid." Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I, I'm, it's really not a good damn thing gosh. I've had that Compass Got no. Box is putting out. That's no, and that's bad. A, that's the thing. <laughs> That, that we need to talk through here you know, is... Swam, you can yeah, get grain crotchless, crotchless chaps. I, just not on our site. Now, yeah, there's probably somewhere you can go online to get crotchless chaps, Drew. I mean, you could probably get some uh, like some sweatpants and make your own, I guess. I, yeah, hey, you look scissors, at your right? <laughs> Whatever you do with them after you buy them, not our problem, right? And we will, we will not. I'm going to be nice. He's, uh, Swami's busting our balls tonight. I know. But I'm, I'm going to be really, nice and not be retaliating. Really on it, man. He's just, I think he's just mad because we cut him off. For, well, it, it wasn't it planned. Is. It wasn't planned. I, it is, yeah. We'll, Dude, we'll we got lots going on. on. We, we want to make sure that we're all here to, well, to enjoy to the right. show with Yeah, you. we don't want to do some half-ass show. We'll, we'll, we'll do it right. Yeah, we'll like, like a normal Thursday. We want to make it. <laughs> yeah, we don't want this to be like black shampoo, right? I mean, we want it to be oh, like that. that's not good. Oof. Yeah, that was bad. That was terrible. Um, Man, I, this kid, this so why don't we talk about our live show? You, you want to talk about that? I'll segue, segue to that one, or is that too soon? To what? Am I, am I off of your agenda? No, we're, for... we're already off. I did want to when throw... When do you do your stand-up piece? I, I did want to throw out... <laughs> Same as never was. See, they're busting my balls uh, about having an agenda, but the last... The time I was on, I had one here, and after the show, they're like, "Man, that ran really smooth. It does you need really to keep work doing it that." It works. So, we don't like it. They just haven't seen me in two balls. weeks, so they gotta bust my balls. Um, no, I wanted to throw anyway. a trivia. <laughs> we, we we did a trivia out uh, two weeks ago. I don't know if you guys did one. You did do one we last, did one week, last and week, and no one answered. No one failed. It, which is pathetic it's that no one failed. answered. But this one's really easy, so I'm gonna ask all you Scotch lovers out no there. No so what's, the, so what's to, the rules? The rules. So stay off of Google. Just watch the chat. If you don't know, you don't know. Don't Google don't it. Cheat. We're gonna tell you. Um, it's really fast. It's really quick. Uh, it's. I think it's an easy one. Um, but here this it is goes. What you're playing for? What is the national an, uh, the national animal of Scotland? And not anthem. Animal. Not not anthem. Animal. What is the national animal of Scotland? Go. Um, no Google. Um, yeah, but so if you cheat. wanted the anthem, you have to get a copy that's played on a pan flute. Right. Because <laughs> we got that. Apparently, because we got it. <laughs> Do you guys only drink scotch? For the most part, uh, only on, on, YouTube, on, on YouTube. On YouTube, yes. Yes, YouTube. Um, <laughs> well, but we you drink know, beer and We actually dubbed this bourbon. summer the summer of gin and tonic oh, because God. we bought a case of gin. <laughs> With Big, the tall boys. The tall boys, the leader <laughs> bottles. Yeah. Before we got through like three of them. Uh, we, uh, you know what? We drink a lot of all kinds of stuff. We drink yeah. I mean, stuff. rum and... Well, and, and I, mean, I will say There's that some I, Irish whiskeys we really I'm not like. a big vodka fan <gasps> just because I'm Lee not a big vodka fan. Lee, got it. Lee Rainer. Holy cow. Come she on, had to Lee. Google that. 
Did you Google that, Lee? Man, you know she, she saw was one there, when though. she was a juror. She was there. <laughs> probably was a juror and saw it. So, Lee, you've got two or three bottle hangers already. Are you willing to pass this up for Dram Dude, I, who did come in with Unicorn really fast. Really quick, right after you. Um, Spigot's on. Spigot. We need to talk to Spigot. Spigot, we Dude, need to you talk have to got you. to email us your address. I do we like Robert's one. answer of drunk unicorn. <laughs> That's, That's probably accurate. more accurate, to be honest with you. I like that, Robert. Um, Robert's got a couple already, too, so he's out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So who came in second? Uh, we're, I think if Lee's cool with it, we're going to give the Dram Dude. We're, we'll give the, the hanger to Dram Dude. So Dram Dude, we need you to message us on our we'll YouTube channel Lee's or address. Else, so Spigot um, and Dram Dude, email us at scotch4dummies, the number 4 dummies at gmail.com. It's yes. in all of our... Our, our intro and our, our information. Go to the our website. Yeah, yeah, all that yeah stuff. Spigot, we owe you one of these hangers. You haven't given us your address. We're trying to get it to you, but uh, we need to know where to send it. So let us know. So Lee says Robert wins. She's not willing to give it to Dram, dude, even though he was the second answer. Robert's she, already got like two or three She likes Drunk these. Unicorn the best. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that answer too, but Robert's got a few himself. Um, Anyway, that was just, uh, I couldn't come up with anything better. To I thought that was a good one because it's unique. It's, it's like different. We heard that on the bus. Yeah, we're so like, it's a what? So your, nas you your national am animal is a fictional character? Yeah. What? Actually, there's a story behind it, and, oh, and okay. I, I need to ask for some help because I don't remember it. But, I mean, it, it's intentionally a fictional animal, a, a fictional, you know, creature. Um, for there's, there's a reason, and I just don't remember what it is. And it's fine. It's clever. It sounds good. And you're like, oh, okay, it makes sense. But you still leave going, a unicorn? Really? I would have picked a griffin. I would have picked a, a Q, Gryffindor. A Highland Q. Well, if you're going to pick <laughs> a fictional Q. character. I mean, there's freaking Qs all over that place. Yes, oh, give it to Swami. Dram, Swami's up Swami there with his Ben Riak. Swami posts this pic of Ben Riak. Uh-oh, what Ben Riak? Where's your chaps, dude? 16. Ben Riak, 16. Uh, where's your chaps? Where's your crossless chaps? <laughs> that that would have won immediately. <laughs> No, no. We're gonna, no, 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 no. We're gonna break the Don't internet. Don't freaking tempt this guy. No, right. Don't tempt him. Um, so, Dram dude, uh, message us to that address, and we'll get you one uh, yep. as soon as we can. Um, it is the unicorn spigot. Is their national plant the marijuana plant? It might be. <laughs> no, that's not fiction. No, it's LSD. No, I'm just kidding. LSD, right? <laughs> What's yeah. Why are you guys That's how you see unicorns? the unicorns. I'm That's, not sure, uh, but this is a good stuff. <laughs> but I see a lot of them. I see about um, 10 of them. So, back to the the, the, his, the comments. I wanted someone to pull the comments up on this it. bottle so we could we could talk about them. There weren't many comments from from you guys out there about this bottle, at least specific to this bottle. There were a good two dozen comments on the on the. the but you video, know what? I think it's a, a pretty entry this. level. We, it, um, there's not a ton we, um, of complexity. You know what I mean? It, it's got I, a good flavor profile. It's good everyday glass, but I, I actually we had almost 500 views on this one already, and we've got 37 comments. I mean, it's, it, it is blowing up. So it's, so it's actually a popular. Right. Scotch. This, this is a good. This is a good week for us. I mean, we're but it's a, a pretty common scotch too. So I mean, you it's know, something that people are going to be looking at. I'll be honest with you. I like it better than a sauternes cask finish. Yeah, I mean, they, so we're sitting here drinking this. I put a Look at freaking Sean roll his eyes. Uh, I put a couple drops of water on it. Just because you don't understand dessert wine the, the, doesn't mean you got to bust its balls. I'm not busting its balls. <laughs> I just don't like it. The, the nice thing about this is that the finish has a lot of that ruby fruit in it that I, that I tend to like. And so I can sit here and drink it and continue to taste those fruits. And, and that's pleasant. I mean, it's not smoke. It's not my wheelhouse. Drink. Oh, but, God damn it. Drink. Drink. Um, <laughs> I'm, empty. I'm trying to figure out what I want next. Yeah, but it, but it's still good. good. It's still it's still in my flavor profile that I like, and wow, it's, it's fairly delicious. expensive. It's not. You're right. Not complex, I just love the smell of it. I stick my nose in this glass all night long. It's got a great nose to it. I would say probably at least once a week we get this comment, and it's it's a very true statement. Jim posted on I think it was on this one that basically you know he's had this bottle for a while. He was blown away at first, but then he let it sit for a while in this bar. Right. Oh, we, we, yeah. we all know that theory. Okay, so, that's a good topic. And, he, and actually, he thought that the wine influence really diminished. So, but it's interesting how things change. I mean, after sitting right. there, and, and we've talked about this a few times. Well, and oxidation's reviews. a bitch. It is. Well, <laughs> good sometimes good, good, good. Sometimes good. That's that's the point. So, I and I think it's interesting to take note uh, over a course uh, of time on um, what flavors no, oxidation is bad towards. <laughs> take that home last um, week. Go home so what, what, what scotches does oxidation <laughs> do it good, and what scotches does oxidation do it bad? I mean, I think if you were to track that and really pay attention, Ooh, you would probably call. find 
that the cask finishes have a lot to do with it. Some are gonna yeah. are not gonna yeah. fare well, yeah. and some are gonna fare better. I don't know. I mean, that um, take that one to Ralphie. Yeah, well, I'm budget. sure there's there's different theories on it based on you know. I'm sure honestly, Mr. Chemical I, Engineer would have some theories. Strawberry well, jam. I think that the ones that have some red wine influence don't seem to hold that. up too well, being open for a long period of time. I think there's some subtlety. <sighs> Uh, in those notes, and I think that the oxidation kind of kind of takes the, be the wind out of its sails per se. Well, and I'm sure that that has a lot to do with it also. But I think that is a loud ass cork, right? <laughs> we had a lot of problem last. Uh, so you know, I think if it's just a, a straight up bourbon barrel casking, you know, you're probably not going to see as much change. Yeah, you're right. Um, than you would, you know, something like this, oh. or you know, like the King was the one that we had. Uh, okay. Some surprise because we let it sit for a while, and that last little bit of the bottle just wasn't it wasn't as good as the first part of the bottle. I agree. You know, uh, it was so, still good, but it, it, this flavor profile changes. So yeah. Travis has a question: How would you rate the Quinta Raban versus the Glendronic 15 Tawny Port? I would say the Glendronic is much better. Oh yeah. Well, so yeah. Number one, the new make is different. So I think I think I prefer the Gl the Glendronic new make, their base scotch, their base entry hey. more than I like the Gl Glen Marangi. And so I think it's more complex to begin it with. It is. So it starts more. It starts better. And then the Tawny Port is, it, it's not as ruby rich, but you get that that sweet fortified wine kind of flavor <laughs> just. It, I think it balances better with the high alcohol content than the, than the yeah uh, than the port. Well, so. you know, it's it's three years older. It's had a little more time to to gel with the flavors yeah. and and lends a depth of character that this one doesn't exhibit. Yeah. You yeah. Can say this, 20, is probably, this is probably a 20, sweeter. 20 <laughs> this is probably a sweeter port than the tiny port. Maybe I don't. Fruitier. I actually Fruitier. liked them both. I mean, it it was interesting for they're, me to find different. out I liked the ports, but um, um, so. Good morning to Hoagie. Hey, Hoagie. Hey, Hoagie. Good morning. Welcome. And I want to say a special shout out to some friends that are on. I don't see them on the chat, but uh, um, I see they're pinging me on Facebook Messenger. Uh, John and Kim, I was uh, with them this weekend up on Lake Erie, up in Asheville, Ohio, and they found out that we do this channel. So the fact that they logged on to check this out, I just want to say, hey, thank you guys. Love you guys. Um, had an awesome weekend. It was great to see you guys. Um, glad you're watching, though. Hey. Anyway, I wanted to get that out. I, I'm, I'm, I'm super psyched. Up to 30 watching. tonight already. That's um, good. Excellent. Uh, so actually, Jim had a really good comment, and I think this is, we've talked about this before as well. He, he was continuing our conversation about how lower the, the actual volume, the oxidation, everything else. When you get there, like an inch or so left in the bottle, what do they say? You should just share you just it. Just kill it. We've got to kill oh, it. Oh, yeah, kill it. absolutely. I think well, I don't, we don't wait that long. I'd say once we get below... Once we get close to a quarter of a bottle, well, right, once, right, right, once, the, once we open the bottle, it's like <laughs> blood in the water. Well, so <laughs> the, the other option for those those tails is so tell me I'm that's wrong. actually a good point. Right. And we're trying this. Well, I haven't even smelled so, this one yet. So when you when you get a couple inches or an inch left in the bottle, pour it into your infinity bottle. Yeah, your that, living, that bottle. Has, living bottle that has it you know fine. multiple different things in there. That's about a third of a bottle now. We need to finish, get close to finishing some bottles. Maybe put some of the long row eighteen in there. What's in there anyway? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Andrew's got our recipe. So book we got a recipe book. So that's the other thing you want to do. Sean the shark. <laughs> we create yeah, that right. infinity bottle. Let me bottle. smell it. Let me smell that. You want to? You want yeah, to? What's in there? List what's in there. So we've got two ounces of Edgedor ten, uh, two ounces of Jura ten, an ounce of Glenlivet Founders Reserve, two ounces of Glen Grant sixteen. Um, almost an ounce of Kleinlish, 14, some Scapa, some Glenlivet 12. So, you know, you just kind of keep that going. The debate is always, do you do you do it by style? Do you sherries and a different one for uh, peats? Do you do, you know, un under 12, over 12? That's all up to you. It's just, this yep. is what we've put together so far. Do you just go ahead and finish that bottle? <laughs> Well, Hoagie's basically saying the same thing. It's, there's yeah. really no right or wrong no. about the whole air and how long to go. It's really just a matter of, I mean, certain certain whiskeys do better than others with mm. air, right? And some, you know, it's 
I, I think don't we just gotta keep that. hitting it until you like it. And then, not good yet? No, it's not. It doesn't smell at hardly anything from your mouth. So I'm not getting anything. I'm, I'm wanting like to it. sit for a long time. <laughs> but then again, I just listened to what Andrew's reading off, and it was a bunch of, you know, entry level. <laughs> it's not, not a, lot, a whole lot of good stuff. It's not a lot of great stuff, but. <laughs> Johnny Walker Red and uh, <laughs> Doers and uh, <laughs> Cutty Sark. Cutty Sark. Cutty Sark in there. But we're hoping it's going to turn into something magical. You know? It's going to be a, it's like gonna a, be a unicorn. unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. But then we're going to strip paint with it. <laughs> oh, shit. So, no, no, oh, Jim, yeah. we have not tried it yet. We, we need to put more into it and get it more depth before we do that. Maybe we'll put some of this in there, give it a little more ruby flavor doing. That might be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's funny. We could throw some some of the king in there when we get that model. Nope. Back. Negative. Nope. <laughs> that's going in my belly. That, that's already got six Come bottles on. in there. So, yeah, so that's the key on. is you don't want to wait. If you got a really great bottle, you don't want to so put Hobie, that in there. Hobie, you, you see my shirt? You see his shirt? Look at this. We have shirts now. Yeah. On our you website. Order these online, dude. They'll even ship them to Berlin. Ship them. You know, we may have to see what happens with some special gifts down the road. Maybe, maybe what? even yeah. a bottle that says, yeah, give us a picture true. with a shirt on or something. So, so you know, know, that was one of the things Ooh. I wanted to touch on on the, uh, the agenda that I wanted to cover with, with everybody. So let's talk about what we've got in the lineup. I know cool. a lot of folks out there have sent us some, some bottles that we are very fortunate to receive, some Thank small you. samples that we're going to review. Um, and I think this is the first time in two years, guys, that we've been so backed up with Scotch to review, which is a great problem to have. Yes, it is. Yep. But at the same token, those folks, everyone out there that has sent some samples in, we want you to know, you know, it, it, we're, we're working on it. We still have them. Um, so let's talk about it. Why don't you pull some things up and sure. let's, let's um, maybe maybe everybody can chime in and say, hey, why don't you do that one next? Or Because, I mean, idea. honestly, we don't even have a... We can do it right now. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from... Hobie. This is from a good friend Germany. in Germany, in Berlin. So this is a, a Ben Nevis, and it is. This is the special bottling from a liquor store in Berlin, uh, Jack Weaver's, um, I believe. So correct me if I'm wrong, Hobie. Uh, this and I actually all three of them are, I think. But um, so we've got a classic of Isla. <laughs> Not sure what's in this, and then we've got. Uh, uh, Sherry Punchin 2003 single cask. Third. So you'll definitely be involved in that review, Hoagie, because uh, you sent us the bottle. Yeah, so we want to hear about wants us to open them now. This no, is the one no, with no, no. Uhu glue and sauerkraut attack. Where's the Scotch Horse shirt? It's they haven't it's shipped online. it yet. I think yeah. they're I think they're debating on whether they're gonna release that or not because whether they're gonna allow it to actually go. <laughs> so these are I for ordered our uh, buddy Telex, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got some lore and we got some Kelpie. Kelpie, Kel Kelpie CR. I'm excited about both yes. of those. For Give sure. Guys. There's a couple of those are gonna be great. Couple of art bags right there. That's gonna be good. Yeah, all um, all of these I'm excited. Yeah, about. I I'm, all, I mean everything. I don't think there's a bottle that someone a sample that someone sent us yeah. that I've just been like, oh okay. I mean every one of them I'm like, well, holy shit. <laughs> well, I hope people say that. They you know about. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know when I get a package, I I gotta you know uh, right. and, samples, and quality and honestly, control. Honestly, we need to figure out too because we've got other bottles, true bottles to, to fit into our normal schedule. Right. But with these guys. We can really, it's, I like to kind of give the um, option to the person that sent it to us to say, right, listen, yeah. do you want us to do a normal review? That's what I thought. Or would you like us to do a live review with you on these? And we can do and that. we can still post it. So right. you need to let us know. If you send us something, let us know what you want. You know, if you Please want to get on a telex, and we've got you yeah. on before. Yep. Olga, you've been on before. We can totally do There's this There's been some people that have sent some samples that have no interest in doing that. They don't right. want to be mentioned, and that's fair, too. Yep. Um, we just appreciate it with the room yeah, so, so We're very thankful. Because outside of the samples that we've been given, we've got bottles that we've purchased along the way that are still on the, the lineup. And so yep. let's look at what that is. I, there's a couple that, I it, we, they've been on the bar so long I forgot about them. And I'm like excited they're there. I'm like, holy shit. All right. I mean, these two Scotch Malt Whiskey Society bottles, I bought one of these in Scotland. Drew bought one in Scotland. Um, one, we were just looking at one tonight. Why? Well, one is a Ben Rennes, and uh, the other is a Lafroy. And I am twenty-one year and a nineteen. Sixteen and a nineteen. 19. And then this Cadenhead. That's the 
27 here. Mm. Oh, 27. Yeah, I'm super geeked about Gosh, this. I know. We haven't touched them. Uh, Look, they're so, sealed. Yeah, and so these these came That's from why they're still they, on the They bar. have been here, oh. sitting here, waiting. <laughs> Very stoked about that. And actually, we I got an email from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society about uh, a special bottle they picked out for the upcoming solar eclipse. And so I read their write-up. <laughs> what? I am in love with I read guys. their write-up, and I was like, oh, my God. I got to show this to Sean. And so I showed it to him. And I know he's he's calling out the different, you know, ad, what their descriptions. And I said, oh, and by the way, it's a Tullibardine. And he's like, all Ooh, right, let's get them They on. use ganache. <laughs> I know, they use so, ganache. You know, I mean, that ranks up there with marzipan. I'm right. a big ganache I fan. I like some Tullibardine. Any, any pourable chocolate. So oh, these are really, right. I am so super excited for these guys. When can we do them? Can we do them tomorrow? We can do them right now. Uh, nah, no, I got to get on a plane at 8 o'clock in the morning. You freaking guys are killing me. We're a half Every, an hour from the airport. I know. <laughs> They've get almost made me on. miss one before. Hey, what's the other two bottles in the big boxes behind you? Oh, well, yeah, they're these. Oh, these guys, yeah. Yeah, so one's a signet, I know, but what the heck is this? So this is the yeah, you weren't there for that. Glen Morangi 18, extremely Extra. rare. Extremely. Exciting. Yeah, draw it out. This is extremely what? It that was says, not even busted extreme, open. It says... Extremely, yeah. I mean, that's like really, really. We'll be gentle with it. What are you doing that? I'm swinging so, it around. Well, well so not. yeah, check this out, guys. Not We've even got, open. Um, you guys opened the damn signet. I've even had, had. It's been open for like I haven't a month. had any it's of it. Barely. No, we. Because you're never around. around. He hasn't either. Andrew and I did. It was well, really we, good. We had to pour. <laughs> we had to pour some of it for um, for salsa samples, but that was it. Mm-hmm. Jim says our self-control is unbelievable. How do you not sample those the minute you get them out? It's really, really hard. right. Luckily, we, he locks the door. We can't. Get I, in. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty good about it. I, I try to stay out of my bar. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. You're pretty good about it. But every time you look around, you're like, hey, open that one. I'm like, no. <laughs> Thursday's a different deal. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Thursday all bets are off. <laughs> About two, three glasses in. I start to get real Wheels generous, especially if somebody else paid for it. A long row of teams sitting on the bar. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed I'm not drinking that right now. But well, I don't, I don't see an 18 back there. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, I see what an 18 this? back there. It's a Jura. Jura Where did that come from? From, from the liquor store. Back. From from Dennis. Well, no, when we... Uh, when? When, when, when Andrew and I went it? to the store. We, we got, got the they Tamu. They had like five, got... on the, five on the shelf. So I bought one. Yeah. I didn't know you bought that. Yeah, it's yeah, it's See, they're always calling me a dog for holding on to scotch at my house. Look at that. He's freaking... It's on the freaking bar. <laughs> I mean, you come over once in a while. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> once in a while? <laughs> Quit traveling. If he wasn't fishing. fishing every weekend, he was, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I feel bad for you except that you're fishing. Well, so, so everybody's saying it's not really rare, but but you know what? I don't care. You're it's, right. It, it says rare. extremely rare in the damn bottle. <laughs> Swami well, says it's not rare at all. I beg to differ. It's extremely rare. It's <laughs> extremely rare. <laughs> it says on the bottle it's got to be extremely rare. Oh, shit. It's extremely rare that anybody <laughs> buys it because it's so expensive. Bob's getting the hold on. Bob's getting the whiskey sweats, guys. Hold on a second. Whew. Take a breather, Bob. Hey, yeah. That's a good sweat. The whiskey the, sweats. The, meat sweats the, the, the sweats and not the sweats, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got sweats and chaps on the night. I'm not sure what's going on. Yes. Here. It's well, kind of derailing. We're, we're heading in the wrong direction, I think. <laughs> it's all right. So, all right. We've been down that path. Oh, boy. Hey, uh, get us back on track. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, wait a minute. You stay off the. What, what do you got going on here? Um, Monologue. Monologue time. Hey, it's just like, yeah. You, you got to stand up in front of I got to stand up and give a monologue. What the hell is Andrew's that? Andrew's got to do the Bush drums. light? Oh, Someone shit. post, Travis Bush light. You were drinking it. That's technically fair. But it's not scotch. Oh. Bush That's light. That's a ballsy post, Travis. I'm not going to send a scotch for dummies tag to a Bush light. <laughs> That's good for him, man. Friend. Bush light, you know, that is... Maybe, maybe if you're a ball game, maybe. Every once in a while, bush light is not that bad. What, so, maybe, maybe I could send him a... No. Maybe we could, we, could, we, could, we, could, we could email him a graphic of the label or something, maybe. <laughs> so I, uh, in, in an effort to, to find good content to talk about with you guys, and oh, yeah, not yeah. just blurt out friggin' drunken yes. statements, right? I um, <laughs> I looked up another thing. So there's two different sections. Uh at one, I started a new section in the show called Scotch in the News. I'm like, what's going on in the Scotch industry? And and I, I bring this up because you guys could very well educate us on this. I, I'm, it's not like we're you know all in the know. 
Um, so I just spent a couple minutes looking what's going on in the scotch industry. What's up, you know, at today? And so there was a, a couple articles that I read. One I thought was kind of interesting, and it was about this major call from the scotch industry to the British Parliament to protect the industry with Brexit because um, with the Brexit, it's going to come all new trade sure. agreements with all these new countries. And so the scotch industry is very concerned and worried that um, the standards of whiskey are going to go down and, and thus affect the scotch industry. Um, they actually mentioned that there's uh, the, the new trade agreements between the U.S. and that the U.S. is willing to lower the whiskey standard. And I was like, well, I can't believe that. But Anyway, I'm uh, curious to see what you guys uh, have to say about it, especially folks over uh, on the other side of the pond. Uh, I'm, uh, any of our British viewers or Scottish viewers, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. Hmm. Um, there was one other article, too, that this is interesting. Sean, Sean nailed it. Totally I don't know if you out. read this or why, nope. why you knew this, but there was an article that posted uh, something to the nature of Scotch industry is poised for a comeback, and I'm like, comeback? What the hell are you talking about? Comeback, man! You seen prices? That's just back, man. I'm, I'm all over it. I'm drinking it. Right now. Um, but anyway, I read the article, and it goes on to say that the the six leading blending blenders, Scotch blenders, all took a downturn through 2012 and 2016. So we're talking Chivas, we're talking Johnny Walker, we're talking Doers, we're talking that that the, the, the main the, the main contenders that are in the blended world. Um, all took a downturn in, in 2012 to 2016, except for one blend, ah. and it took a 477 hike up. <laughs> well, everybody's going down. They went up 477. And it. Sean nailed it right off the bat. <laughs> Monkey shoulder. <laughs> Monkey shoulder. Boom. Yeah. It's a good scotch, man. 477 percent jump. So, well, and they've been around for 10 years, so it's not like you know they're what? just like year one and then to year four. It's like year six to ten. That's a whole but different. But think about the strategy, too. And they should... The scotch industry should learn a little bit about this. It's marketing, man. Monkey shoulder, what they're doing with it. It's actually an element. I mean, it's it's, it's, great, it's, it's a, a good juice. And it's, it's good juju. It's, yeah. Right. You know, I mean, if it's crap, it's crap, and it's not gonna. You, you can market it and and pull smoke and mirrors for so long, but if it's good, you really don't need to pull smoke and mirrors. It's just gonna pretty much. Well, so I I think the the thing that they're true. The the blends <laughs> have dropped. The single malt right. has blown up. So, Cheers, Robert. What's Thanks, Robert, Robert saying? He said, he said we're bad influence. He drinks more this hour than he does the entire week. <laughs> Us too. So do well, we. Well, no, not really. We look for, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I mean, work is is rough for all of us. And Thursday nights is also a great way for us to go, ah, yeah. let's have some fun, drink. And Damn, dude. Is that really? What was that? What was Damn, dude. What, what is I'll that? bang you. So along, yeah, along the lines of the monkey shoulder, we talked about this a little oh, bit last yeah. week. That Monkey Shoulder is apparently getting into the smoking smoking oh, business as well. So they're getting ready to put out a Smoky Monkey. So we're asking Sean to talk to his distributor and see if we can get a bottle of that. Because that would be interesting to try. Because they're getting requests from uh, a lot of the bars. But there are a few uh, Scotch cocktails that prefer a smoky Scotch to them. And I don't remember the names of them. So, so they've been getting requests. Can you make a smoky Scotch for us? And so Monkey Shoulder said, sure. So now they produced the Smoky Monkey. Oh, yeah. But I haven't seen it. And I'm I anxious to try the Smoky Monkey. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, now, of course, other, I'm end up Pete's, right? The, the other thing about Monkey Good Shoulder Lord. they talked about. Smell wow. That. Smell that. Monkey What's Shoulder. That three, four, they, it's like a glass. Finger and a half. But it's a freaking gallon. Look at the size of the glass. <laughs> Don't judge me. What are you doing? I'm not judging you. I'm jealous. Casting. Son of a <laughs> See? See how fast was, was Robert that one that said we're bad influence? Burnt toast in that? So just I, asking. I will say, you know, you we'll smell it. We'll get I back to Monkey Shoulder a little bit. Robert was a bad influence mm, by giving us these good. big glasses. I love yeah. big glasses. Robert, thanks to you, man, I, I'm in love with these glasses. They're so amazing. you know, when you're drinking these ones, get your ankle in it. It's, it's a whole <laughs> different <laughs> scale of hitting it. So lots of people yeah. work from home on Fridays. So tell like, says Andrew, Smoky Monkey is oh, exclusive to UK bars until August at least. Oh, well, tell like, let's get on that, man. You need to take uh, a trip over It is there, August. Man. It is August. <laughs> <laughs> That's a True. damn good point, Sean. Yeah. Yeah. So, you need a pound on your distributors, man. Come on. Give me some of that much. I, I already Smoky got a pound on them. <laughs> so. You mean but, like for free um, but parliament tickets and then you don't go? Yeah. That sucks. Well, it wasn't like I didn't want to. Yeah, same here, brother. 
Um, total transparency is what has to happen. Compass Box has it right. Why wouldn't dis why wouldn't you disclose what your product contains? Boy, that's a that's a discussion, John. Uh, a lot of people. Oh boy. I think 45 minutes in, and we're going to get the wheels off and yeah, start talking I think about the mass, that. vast majority of folks agree with you. I do. I mean, I I, I have no problem with an. NAS. I think the quality operations want to tell you all about it. And that's in any industry. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're proud of what they're doing, right. and they will tell you anything you want to know. And then you get people who are maybe doing, not necessarily some questionable stuff, but they don't want you to know everything they've got going on. I well, like, you well know. like, like, I mean, quite honestly, Doers White, Johnny Red, those are not high-quality scotches. So they're going to put everything they can get as cheap as they can into that. Yeah, and that's it's it's that's quantity over quality. That, that's their business model, and that's <laughs> and that's their bread and butter for them. So that, yeah, so but the some of the other ones, you know, like Wolfburn, they say I'm three years old, and they put out a good Swabby stuff. You're an ass. What are you talking about? He said, "Are you into Pete's P E T E, or Pete's P E T E?" So did we talk about a roll? I, I just want to say <laughs> your next live Swami, we're all gonna get on and we are gonna rattle your cage. Oh my we're god! We're gonna give you all kinds of shit. This dude's crazy. He's funny though. So. Um, so, so George Kaplan wants to know. If we we try to keep it uh, family friendly, yeah, but uh, we don't necessarily have to. Uh, that I don't know. Sure Spring Make Eleven is local barley. I'm yeah, sure hoagie. Yeah. Um, it's funny. I I I didn't pull yeah. that article up. I didn't pull an article about that topic, but I had heard about it somewhere else within the last week about um, fake scotch. Is is there's there's a a black market that's out there that people are selling fake bottles, you know, oh, for, really? for massive amounts. And sure. Hoagie just uh, mentioned uh, a ten thousand dollar shot of fake McKellen. Yeah. Was so that sold so that Swiss. I read the article about that. That was there was a Chinese tourist that was in a Swiss bar, and they had like an eighteen seventy five McKellen or something like that. And the bar, the bottle was gnarly and just a basically white label with writing on it. And they sold him a dram for ten thousand dollars. And the guy, I think the guy posted a picture of it or something, picture of the bottle, and people got online and said, you know, That's that fake. that bottle, that label is too new for a hundred year old bottle. And so there's more discussion. And so that that bar actually gave that bottle to McAllen and said, can you analyze this for us? Because they, they wanted they wanted to verify it. And they were going to give the guy his money back if it wasn't real. They, who knows what they paid for, but they were going to be honest. They were up front say, hey, if this is fake, we'll give you your money back. We didn't mean to charge you, but we understood it to be an authentic bottle. But they're going to verify it for him because that's, well, that's, cool. that's a $100 bottle, 100, 100-year-old scotch. That'd be surprising. <laughs> yes, Bart does like a ten-year-old Pete. Yeah, I've heard him say it. <laughs> yeah, so oh, that's hilarious. So, so those let me you, um, yeah. digress here for a second. We, I want to say that you know we are starting. I've been pitching this whole Discord thing for a while. We're starting to pick up steam, boys. We got about fifteen people on our channel now, and so conversations are starting to happen. Let me switch over to her quick. So this is um, this is our Discord channel right now. You can see it's up on our channel, and so you can see people are in here. We got the t some other guys are in here as well as far as YouTubers. Malta's in there, Scotch Test Dummies, and a couple other guys. But yeah. Telex is in there. But we, you know, we're starting to get people. It's great because we can have conversations. You can suggest stuff in there. So we, you know, t Telex can tell you for sure. We we're on it all day long. So if you have a question, ping us on there. That's I can true. Reply. You know, we can it's have easy. other conversations. So it's Static Chest, Static Chest, Static Test. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, check it out when you get a chance. May have some that time, dude. You know what? I'll just go to Jerry. No, no, no. There you go. Right. Um, so anyway, we got about ten minutes left. Give him that jig. And, and I don't. I don't. Just <laughs> take a bad. I don't measure my pour. No, no, the half ounce. <laughs> no, here, this, this glass. Um, <laughs> dang it! You guys are busting my chop. Um, I wanted to, do, to to visit the rewind segment of the show before it gets to, too far back, and we didn't really have quite a, really much. We looked back. What can we talk about in the rewind? So I wanted to go two weeks back and talk to Lee Ann about her trip. You are now home safe, and uh, I guess your flight home was quite adventurous. Woo! Little little delays and flights missed, and this that and the other, and. Um, you picked up a couple bottles that you were really excited about, and I wanted you to talk, uh, did, you know, throw a chat, uh, a comment or two about that, about what you picked up and uh, why you were so excited about it. So, 
I know she got the log of Ellen 8. Right. And, and I'd be excited about that, too. That's the, 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 the rewind segment of the show. So everybody pay attention to what Leanne's got to say about her trip, where she went to pick these bottles up. She was pretty stoked about the price she, uh, she paid for them. So yep. if you're ever up in that neck of the woods, make sure you take some extra change to pick a couple of bottles. Up. So well, I take extra change everywhere. Several years ago, I was traveling for work in, New, in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And their, their sales tax laws and... That kind of thing are very Easy. different in that state. So you fine, you've got a. It's no, I'm definitely a I'm place to take. <laughs> if you go to a Christmas shop, you can go up there. You don't have to pay any state tax on, on sales up there, and that's a pretty nice deal. So I'm guessing, uh, Lee had some similar experiences there. What are you posting? Mm. Just some links. The score thoughts on the starts. AS Japanese in particular. Uh, prices yes. skyrocketing. Is the supply demand more important than everyone having an opportunity to try those whiskeys? Well, so that's a, the hmm. thoughts on the. I, yes. Which tam do we have there? By the way, Robert's asking. We got the uh, so back strength number two. I don't know, Justin. That's a good question. I mean, uh, I honestly think that. Uh, Supply and demand has everything to do with price and anything, yeah. so I, that, that's got to have an effect on I, it. I think the only, the only thing I don't like about the supply and demand thing right now is normal supply and demand curve, you've got people that are consuming the product. In some of the higher end whiskey markets now, you've got people that are purchasing it as an investment. And they're Very sitting true. on it. Right. And that's really taking it out of the hands of people that would sit around and actually drink it and enjoy it. And those people aren't even necessarily whiskey drinkers. They don't appreciate it per se. They're no, buying it to sell an index. to somebody else. There's an index. There's a Scotch whiskey index that you can buy into. Oh, and bourbons I mean, and, and everything and, and, else. Yeah. So there's, yeah. there's spirit in there. It happens with oil buy. and crude oil and everything. It's like, it's just you know, if you've got money, you're independently wealthy and you need to invest and, you know, diversify. That's one way to do it. That's one way to do it. I could never do it because I like to drink it. So it's just, you know, you can't be a dope dealer if you like to smoke dope. And and that's where you, well, well, I mean, you can, I guess, right? Not very long. (laughs) Big perm. (laughs) Big perm. Wow. But that kind of goes back to your your fake bottle of Macallan. That's what happens when you get an inflated market like that, and you've got investors that are buying it to keep it and not necessarily to enjoy it, and they don't necessarily know what they're buying to begin with. Yeah. That's when you see people right. taking advantage of. That's when you see you know prices artificially high for no reason. Yep. And so it filters down. It does. Speaking you know? yes, we we were drinking a Japanese whiskey when we started the show earlier. We haven't reviewed it yet, so we really we didn't give the name of it or anything. But it's uh, I'm excited about it. Um, it's pretty good. It was a gift yeah. bottle. So um, Lee did comment on her purchases. The Glendronic 1995 was pretty exciting. No tax on liquor in New Hampshire. Woohoo! <laughs> Yahoo! Paid 130 bucks for a bottle that was 250 at home. Nice. Yeah, I'd be pretty. That's a win. I yeah, can't right. Believe there's no federal tax um, on that. I'd be that pretty stoked about away. that. You, you mean you bought two bottles, right? Because that's a buy one get one at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. 65 for the log of one eight. I'm all over that. That's a great price. I'm totally all Ooh, over that. Wow, that is a nice price. Hey, thanks for sticking with us, Maria. I'm glad you like the scotch. Appreciate it. Hope you can join us next time. Scotch is fun. Yeah. So what's your favorite scotch, Maria? Well, she's just starting, I think. So. Well, so she's right, got a favorite. You, you got to start somewhere. Well, she, she bought a bottle for her boyfriend. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's on his uh, his suggestion. but That's all right. Yeah. My wife buys stuff so on Mark, my suggestion. So, Mark, five minutes left. Anything else left in your agenda? Uh, yes. Monologue. Um, Monologue. Monologue it up. Monologue, honestly, there's Just a couple things. There's, um, uh, I wanted to talk about the upcoming collabs, which mm-hmm. they very well may need to be rescheduled because are, yeah. uh, over the sure. course of the, of the last week or three, uh, work schedules have now yep. caused some of us to have to travel. So I don't um, travel. No, but that doesn't mean you're not busier than one leg a minute. So sometimes it, <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. But as of this moment, next week we have uh, Whiskey and Six. Yep, um, Rob. And then the week after that we have Whiskey Dictionary. Yep. And then the following week we have scheduled Swami. But I don't know I if he's not good. I've already talked to you. That's why he's pissed off at <laughs> me right know. now. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to reschedule because both Andrew and I are out of town that night. 
These guys don't have laptops. Both of our laptops will be gone, so we just it's just not efficient for us to do it, Swami. I'm sorry. I apologize. Mark, Mark and I are but planning we'll a special uh, cigar smoking edition of so gonna, uh, Thursday gonna, Night Live. All you're going to yeah. see is, <laughs> all you're going to have is audio. It's going to be dark because you're going to be outside, and you're going to see the, the c- cigars light up. It, it'll all, it'll, it'll probably go on for four hours because <laughs> we'll forget to turn it off. <laughs> no, like, let's keep it like Nick Offerman with these two sitting in a chair just smoking. That's it. And drinking scotch. Drinking scotch. But you're not going to be able to talk about random dark. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of those collabs out there. Excited about doing them. We had really a excited. great time collabing whiskey with the fabric. Test Dummies. Um, it, it's the Whiskey Forever. We, you know, yep. we want to really bring everyone together. So, um, And then finally, we also want to continue to reiterate the Whiskey Expo coming mm. up here in Indianapolis from Buying a Table on October 13th. I know that seems like a long way away, but it's, no, no, it's it not, dude. Two it's months. less than two months. So I can't wait. Um, Eight weeks. Here we are. If you're within uh, a, a range to, to make it to that event, we'd love for you to show up. Uh, make sure you have an Uber. Yeah, it, yeah you're going to need an Uber. Uh, <laughs> but it's a great time. There's a ton of great whiskey to drink. Oh, yeah. And we're going to be doing a live show there for the entire and time. And if you've never been to a tasting off. like that, there's so much fun. Right. So I mean, it's an opportunity blast. to try things and that it, you and it's really, just dreamed so, about. So Telex wants to come down. I think it's his birthday or something. But he's like, well, maybe I shouldn't because you guys, you guys are going to be busy. I'm like, well, I mean, truthfully said, we're going to be crazy busy. We are busy. Right. But we would love to see a Telex. I know right. it's going to be nuts, but... If you can come down, it'd be great to see. Yeah, you. we'll have time before and after. He yeah. said, "Puff, yeah. puff, pass." <laughs> puff, puff, pass. Don't mess up the rotation, Telex. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're funny. John says that that she hates the eyeless. No Pete, no smoke. So she's not in your wheelhouse. That's all right. Uh, That's all right. That's all right. She's more of probably a. Cake she's probably batter. a sweet girl. Yeah. Most cake people batter. don't start out in the wheelhouse. Anyway. John, she's a cake batter shirt. She does need a cake batter shirt. You know, Robert, the wives oh, used to get they used to, they tried to do uh, wine Wednesdays since we were drinking scotch on Thursdays, and they're just not good at follow through. You know, they can talk a game, but they don't follow through. We execute. You know, we're like, hey guys, let's plan a guys weekend. We're right, fishing go. next weekend. Next weekend we're fishing. You know, right, we're, <laughs> we're camping. We're out. <laughs> right, we're drinking <laughs> scotch on a boat. <laughs> All right, guys, two minutes show. left. Closing comments. Uh, Thanks so, for joining us. Yeah, we a good show. I'm glad the four of us oh, got together. Oh, we need to check our Facebook, see who uh, wins um, the uh, drink of the night. You want to call Hopefully, now? everybody that owes us an address has uh, given us that in a message so that yep. we can well, get your bottle let us, hangers. Let's get your bottle uh, hangers. Uh, we'll call out next week's show. That way right. we can have time to right. review it. Yep. In that way, if you haven't, haven't done it yet, you can still do it this yes. week. I so don't take know. a picture of you with your, with your drink of the night. Uh, post it on Facebook. The most and original one. The best one. Creativity counts. Getting these bottle hangers. You can hang on your bottle, favorite bottle of the night. And then the cool thing is you get to take a, so that's an extra bonus. You get to take a picture of your bottle with this on it. You get extra extra credit points. I like that. I like that a lot. Yep. I'm a big fan of extra credit. Well, <laughs> I, I, I just want to say it's a journey, just guys. Saying, we man. love it. We got lots of stuff to do. Yeah, lots we do to cover. got Appreciate you guys so much. Cover. Um, uh, thanks for coming with us every Thursday night. We check see a out lot the of t-shirts, guys. man. Yeah. Uh, There's some fun stuff. Yeah, we'd love Scotch to see a few t-shirts growing. somewhere. I mean, they're they're fun t-shirts, and they definitely epitomize us. <laughs> I mean, they capture who we are. Our personalities are in the shirts. Right, that's for sure. Scotch number so, four dummies dot com. Click on merchandise, merchandise. shirts. Whatever. Yeah. You'll there find you it. You'll, You'll figure it, it out. Uh, are all four of us here next week? Next Thursday? I'm here next week. I'm here yeah. every week. All right. So next next. <laughs> Next Thursday, we're we'll all have our shirts out. on. Um, we've got some reviews to knock out too, so we've yep. got a lot of work, guys. A lot of work, um, but it's all good work. Already. So, Oof. anywho, until next all time, right. I guess. Uh, Cheers! Thanks Cheers. for watching, Love guys. To see everybody. Take care, guys. Take care. Have a great Cheers. weekend. Yeah, have a good weekend. Hey, there's uh, preseason football playing out there. Man. What? Football's almost Let's go. Turn the TV on. <laughs> we'll see you.